Now these dogs probably work a heck of a lot harder than the one you have decorating the foot of your bed, but every pooch deserves to be pampered. And that brings us to Jason Schultz, who found a place in Wisconsin where going gourmet means going to the dogs. We use only free range meats. We use only all natural beef. Um, our beef actually comes from a natural beef supplier out west. The chicken is cage free chicken. Uh, bison is all uh, grass fed. Marie Moody knows her ingredients well. And uh, the vegetables are all organic. We try to buy locally as much as possible. She's not describing the menu at a posh restaurant. Marie's business is making meals fit for Fido, or in this case, her dogs, Stella and Chewy. Come here, good boy. Come here, good boy. Hi. Marie's the founder and president of Stella and Chewy's Pet Food Company. Headquartered near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Stella and Chewy's has become the popular pick for pampered pets. The company has only been up and running for a couple of years, but it's already selling its products across the United States. All natural beef, we have chicken, um, lamb, we have a new flavor actually, duck duck goose. Using meats, fruits and vegetables, it's not just the natural label that attracts many pet lovers. Stella and Chewy's pet food is sold raw. Marie's partner, Doug Siegel, showed me around the production line. We have chicken, we have chicken livers, chicken gizzard, chicken hearts and some organic fruits and vegetables. It's 95% meat and organ meat and 5% organic fruits and vegetables. This is the first step in just making it smaller and it's gonna go up the conveyor and into the grinder. Into the grinder, from the grinder it starts to look like hamburger, right? Exactly. Let's go check out the grinder over okay. here. And now it looks like just regular ground meat. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks like hamburger it coming is, out of here. Well, it's chicken burger right now. <laughs> chicken, chicken burger. That's right. So and it's coming out, so this is ready to be put into the, it's going to make it into patties, I guess. That's right, this is going to be now put in the patty maker. They look like hamburger patties to me. They are hamburger patties. They're hamburgers for dogs. And with these large patties, this is the final stage in their forming. So we form them into eight ounce patties. They go into the freezer, get frozen, they get packaged, and they get shipped out. And that's just how the dogs eat them. Stella and Chewy's provides the patties either frozen and packaged, or freeze-dried instead of frozen raw. We seal up these tanks and it's drawn under a vacuum. It goes down to about minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? And then what happens is the ice crystals in the meat sublimate, which means they're evaporating and without missing the, uh, the water stage. So you're removing the moisture without cooking the meat. And why do you, why freeze-dry instead of cook? Because with freeze drying, you're retaining all the nutrients, vitamins, enzymes of the meat, all the proteins. You're not cooking anything out of it, so we don't have to add anything back into it. The origin of Stella and Chewy's takes us far from Wisconsin to Manhattan. Marie was working in the fashion industry when she rescued Chewy from the animal shelter. Well, I think I was so frustrated that I couldn't find anything that I would feed my dogs in the marketplace that I decided that it was a good idea for a business because there were so many people that I knew of personally, like myself, that love their dogs and would feed them the best pet food possible if it existed. So I set out to make the best pet food possible. And I figured, worst case scenario, my dogs will have food for the rest of their lives. Best case scenario, maybe I'll have a business out of it. In 2002, Marie returned to her hometown in Wisconsin to take her pet food to the next level. Today, Stella and Chewy's is in more than 1,200 pet stores across the country. And it developed really a cult following. Many veterinarians advise against raw meat diets due to concerns about harmful bacteria. Past scientific testing has found E. coli and salmonella in some commercial raw pet food. Stella and Chewy's uses various technologies to combat bacteria. We start off with an organic sterilization, which uses water and pressure, and it kills any pathogenic harmful bacteria that might be in it. Salmonella, E. coli, e. coli those are all eliminated. Okay? Then when we process our food, it's done under aseptic conditions. Each batch of Stella and Chewy's pet food gets tested for Salmonella and E. coli. In fact, they put the batch number on the back of every package, so customers can actually check those test results online by going to the Stella and Chewy's website, enter the batch number, and see the results.
We do it because it's better for the pets. Um, we do it because it's better for the customer as well. Nobody should bring salmonella and E. coli into their kitchen. These are all white meat chicken breast? All white meat chicken breast, like you'd find in a grocery store. That's right. right. That's right. Actually, it's all cage-free chicken, and we take the chicken breast and we dice it, freeze-dry it, and that's all it is. Cage-free chicken breast. That's, uh -huh. uh, that's, a, that's a premium chicken product. It is, actually. This is very expensive. And yeah. very expensive to make, uh, so you probably charge a premium for a container like that, don't we you? We do. A container like this retails for about $10. $10, uh -huh. wow. And uh -huh. you're finding that folks will pay that. Oh, people will pay it because it's pure and their dogs love it. Of course, the namesakes for the company are also the official market researchers. All right, Stella and Chewy. Come on, guys. Come on. And judging by Stella's reaction, it's doggone good.